Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be going over duplicate management. Now the first thing we want to do is create a matching rule. So let's type in matching rule right over here. Click on that. Now click on new rule. So a matching rule defines how duplicate records are identified. So what seems to be identical when uh, the record is going to be created. Now duplicate management is applicable to custom objects and standard objects such as account, contacts, and leads. That's about it. So let's create it on contact. Next. So let's call it Let's call it uh, same contact. All right, now here we're going to uh, specify a matching criteria. So let's do account name, exact. Let's do first name, uh, last name, last name. Let's do one more, do the email. So matching method is either exact or fuzzy. So exact is uh, how it's spelled. Fuzzy is whatever seems to be close to it. You know, what seems to be close to the spelling of, say, like John, for example. But for this demonstration, we're going to pick exact. Now matching uh, blank fields. So if you check this off, say any fields that are checked off uh, and if there's any fields that are blank that are left empty say on um, say two of them then it will take it as a matching criteria so let's save that and make sure to activate it because this is not activated automatically so that's done so let's go to duplicate rules and what are duplicate rules uh, it's pretty much based on the action once the um, record is identified do you want to block it from being created or do you want to allow it as a new record to be created so let's Go to contact. Let's call it uh, same contact. Now the object is contact, and now record level security. So we're going to keep it as enforced sharing rules. So whatever user uh, has sharing rules that are applied to their uh, role, it's going to be applicable. To those uh, to that user whatever sharing rules is applicable to them now bypass uh, sharing rules it'll bypass whatever uh, sharing rules are applied to that user but we'll just keep it enforced now the action so we're going to specify what happens when a user tries to save a duplicate record so I'm just going to block I'm going to keep the alert text as it is now let's go to matching rule. So we created a matching rule called uh, same contact. So here are conditions. So they're optional. You don't necessarily have to put them if you already have uh, a matching rule uh, created. So let's save this. And again, make sure to activate the duplicate rule. Now let's test it out. I'm just going to refresh this real quick. All right. Go to new. Mr. Let's create one record. Smith. Gmail.com. Save and new. 
let's do another John Smith. Let's see what happens. Well, there you go. Similar records exist. This record looks like an existing record. Make sure to check any potential duplicate records. All right, let's see. All right, here it is. So, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.